And so I just did a tutorial on this look. If you'd like to see how I did it, just so keep watching. First okay. to start off, what I used is the NYX Jumbo Eyeshadow Pencil in Milk, which is like this. And then I'm just going to take that and adjust my mirror all over my lid so that the colors look a little bit more vibrant. I don't know if you can, my camera's not picking it up, but this side's actually darker. Oh, there it is. You can see right here. And then I just did the red, so I'm going to take this all the way up to my brow. And I'm going to be using the 88 original palette. Um, I got mine off of eBay for, I believe, 5 or $6. Dollars. And I'm just going to blend this all over. And I need some here. You can use any white pencil or base or whatever you'd like to use. And so it's just like, let me move some of this light. Uh, sorry, I'm still trying to adjust my lighting. There we go. So I just did that with my base. And now I'm going to, I always do, I usually do my highlight first. So let me grab the right brush. Oh, here it is. I'm using a brush from Coastal Sense, just a big flat paddle brush. And this cream color here on the palette, it is this fifth one or sixth one down. Um, it's just a nice uh, kind of skin tone color. And I'm just going to pop that right underneath my brow bone. Hold on, there's like too much light. There we go. I'm just going to pop that right under my brow so that when I blend colors up they're not gonna go into my highlight color and then try to put color over it. So let me put this down. There we go. Just like that's so just so it'll be like this one on top. And the colors will just gradually fade into the lighter color. Just grab some more of that. And then what I'm gonna do is take it this is the concealer brush from e.l.f. It looks like this. And I'm going to take the red, the brightest red on the bottom in the 88 palette, which is this color right here. Hold on, let me just show you. Right here, I'm just going to take it on the tip of my brush. And I'm um, going to draw a cut crease, what you would call a cut crease. And I'm just going to look down and go above my eye, like this. And then at, when I get to around to the other end, I'm going to, um, Sorry, this is kind of hard after already doing one. I'm just going to flick it up when I get to the end, like this. While it's showing up a lot different on my camera. So at first it's going to look a little funky. Hold on, let me hold my mirror like I had it before. So I look down when I do it. Because then I can see the full shape in my eye. Like this. And then just take some more of the red. And bring it like this. We're going to be blending it so don't worry too much about it. I'm just flicking it up at the end because I'm going to blend this top color with some pinks. So it'll look like this. This is just like the base of the line. Let me try to get these even. Okay, so I just have like my basic line just like on this side I did. If you can see that still, because it's just going to make a smooth transition. And now I'm going to take this CPC brush, which is just like a little blend, white blender brush like this. And I'm going to take two colors from the 88 palette. It's going to be this pinky color here, pinky purple right here, and then first color on the bottom right here. And I just mix them back and forth to make my blender color, the color that I'm going to use to blend the red out with. And then I'm actually going to sweep up and down, up and down like that, to follow the shape right above these colors. Sorry, my lights are like washing this out. Here we go, there we go. So it's going to go like up like this and back down. And I'm bringing it all the way down to blend this color out. I'm just getting some more color, tapping on my brush because there's excess, and doing it again. And just keep blending until 
this starts to become seamless like this one. But you still want some definition to that line. And you don't want to blend below the line because we're going to be putting the greens. So just keep blending. See how it's starting to fade? Like, put some more, like, over there. Sorry, I'm still trying to work with my lighting, so. Sorry about that. And I'm just going to blend it. I'm still blending it with that flick on the end like this one. Mm -hmm. Like this. Sorry, I have a mirror on that side too to help me see. Let me see. And then I'm just going to grab some more red. Tapping off my brush and I'm going to flick it up. Because I still want that line to be really defined. So I'm just flicking it up. Like this. I'm to blend it in with the pink. Just little tiny short strokes. Like that. I'm not sure if you can see. There we go. Now you can start to see it. My camera is really weird, so I don't know how it's going to turn out on film. And then I just blended it out like this, so it's like this one. And then I took a turquoise, a uh, tiny gr turquoise green, which is right here. There we go, right there. Uh-oh, dropping stuff again, as usual. Let's see if I can make a video without dropping something, right? So I'm going to take that and my LC shape brush, which is basically like a MAC 239. I have a 239, but I actually like this brush better. And I'm just placing this on the inside. And I'm going to pat it below the line. Like that. See how it's starting to make it look more seamless when you add the color on the bottom? So I'm just patting it on. Pretty much about three-fourths of the way into my lid. Get some more color and pat it into the red, but not over the red, like so. And then I still have this space here. And I'm going to wipe off my brush. And I'm going to take this dark green. It's the last green, the fourth one in, right here where my finger is. And I'm going to take that on my C shape brush, or my flat shader brush, as most would call it. I'm just going to pat it on the edge like this and feather it in and up and then I'm going to take it and start to flick it to go up with the rest of the eyeshadow take a little bit more like this and blend it and I still have no eyeshadow on the other side so I'm going to blend back over to make it even. Let me see if I can adjust this like this. And then I'm just gonna keep bringing it up with the red and kind of try to blend them together like that. So then it's gonna be like this in the end. I think I might have brought my red down a little bit more, but um, since I just did these two eyes separately. I'm not going to worry too much about it. It's just for demonstration's sake. And then I'm going to take some more of the teal and place it over like this. Like that. And I'm going to take the dark green on a flat definer brush like this one, which is from, this one's from Smashbox. And I'm going to spritz it with my charged water from MAC and then because I believe they said you can use these ones wet or dry which is nice because MAC shadows if you try to use them wet you will ruin them so that's why I'm using these for now and I'm just gonna line my lower water line like this well not my water line but my um, lash line sorry my voice is like crazy. I'm just going to go 
I'm not going to go all the way in because I'm going to use another color. And I'm going to use Deep Truth by MAC and a small angled liner brush. This is the one from my e.l.f. liner and I'm also going to spritz this one with some charged water as well. Because I ran out of my Fix Plus but it still works the same. And this is Deep Truth by MAC. I spray my brush because if you spray the eyeshadow you will ruin it. And then I'm going to line my upper lash line like this. I'm not sure you can see this. Hold on. And get some more eyeshadow. Okay. Let's see if you can see it now. And I'm just going to take it from the inside. I work all the way over it, and then I'm going to go from this angle and bring it down and in. Like that. I'm going to get back on this side and make them even. Like that. And then I'm going to take it on the inside of my lash bottom lash line and grab some more and I'm going to take it on the bottom on the inside of my bottom like this like this one here so just look down and then mix it with the green like that so it's not going to be like in a definite line and then that's basically it. Um, mine are a little uneven because I didn't two. I think I did because I did it at two different times. Let me zoom out. But as you can see, when I zoom out, it actually looks a lot better, and it's like kind of like a springtime look. Um, you can put on false lashes or whatever you'd like. If you want, you can use darker colors to make it more dramatic, or you could um, brighten it up with a pink lip, kind of like a Nicki Minaj look, because I love her, she's funny. And, um, or do whatever else you'd like with it, but this is how, so far, how I've gotten it. If you like this video, rate, comment, subscribe. Love you guys. Stay healthy and beautiful, okay? Bye.